Hello, it's Karen here with the August challenge, which this month is a tic-tac-toe board. You have to choose three elements in a line, and mine were arrows, circles, and washi tape. The doilies, dimensional stickers and paper were from a quirky kit. The labels were from Tesco's and the little shrink plastic Alice in Wonderlands were from eBay. The rest of the kit that I used was actually from Poundland, which went really well. You will see that I've written my journaling using a font called Dreamland Arrows all around the edge of my cardstock with my silhouette. I added a piece of the teacups paper that was 8 inches wide and 10 inches tall and then I started to build up my tags starting by adding washi tape to the bottom of two of them and the top of the other two. All the three washi tapes were in a pack from Poundland. Next I added I added my doilies and originally was going to fold them around but I didn't like it so I peeled it off and had them extending over the outer edge of each of the tags. I added one to the bottom left and bottom right of two tags and one to the top left and top right of the other two tags. Next I added some of the paper that I punched into little circles. To the top of the little paper circle I added one of the little dimensional flower stickers. Then one of the tags, these tags were from the Poundland little haul that I had. To the tag I added one of the little sentiments from Poundland and then finally one of the little resin flowers which was also from Poundland. I tied my string into a little bow. The next step was to decide where I was going to put my photograph and the placement of my tags. As I hadn't printed out my photograph yet, I just used a 4 inch square piece of paper. Once I was happy with the placement, I printed my photograph and stuck everything down. I added the two little Alice in Wonderland shrink plastic shapes. Although they didn't really go with the colour, they were the only thing that linked into the fact that it was an Alice in Wonderland themed tea. My final thing was to add a little row of bunting so I used my centralizing ruler to find the center of my page for the first one and just built up the little arc of bunting after that. The bunting shapes were pre-cut and from the Poundland pieces that I purchased.
as you can see I use dimensional foam for absolutely everything So that's my final page. Thank you for watching and I hope you pop back soon to view other YouTubes or you can follow us on our blog, on Facebook or on Instagram. Just look for UK Scrap Addicts.